So hi guys, welcome back. Today we'll be looking at Solid Power and we're going to be looking up the upcoming listing that they will be having onto uh, the market. They'll be doing this through a special purpose acquisition company and they'll be listing it through there. Uh, this company is, bought, uh, uh, is Ford backed as well, so that gives it another plus and we're going to be looking at the future growth, how it'll affect the market and whether it has promising uh, and whether it's a promising buy looking into the future. So if you do enjoy, consider subscribing. It is free and it does help me out a ton. If not, thanks for watching anyway. On to the video. So Solid Power is an industry leading producer of all solid state batteries for electric vehicles and the Decarbonization Plus Acquisition Corporation the third uh, DCRC today announced that they have an agreement for a business combination that would result in Solid Power, uh, Power becoming a publicly listed company. Upon closing of the transaction, the company will be named Solid Power Inc. and its common stock and warrants are expected to be traded on NASDAQ under the ticker symbol of SLDP or SLDPWS, uh, depending on the market. So Solid Power is expected to have a nice nine-person board comp uh, composed of majoritively independent directors and will continue to be led by Solid Power's existing management team, which brings deep technological and manufacturing experience. So what is this experience, you may ask? So they have more than eight years of technology de development and three years of manufacturing development. Solid Power as a company has one main objective, and that is to produce better or better performing or all, all solid state batteries using a low cost industry standard process. Uh, another plus is that Solid Power manufactures its bat batteries on a company's pilot production line, which, is, which almost uh, mirrors the lithium ion manufacturing process which means it um, uh, eliminates certain expensive uh, steps of creating a new type of production line, creating new factories, uh, because they can uh, create these in a normal lithium ion uh, production line as well, which makes it much, much cheaper. On top of this, their solid state batteries could provide near 500 mile vehicle range on a single charge, which is between 50 and 75% greater than any commercially available lithium ion battery to date. The safety profile of Solid Power's battery has also improved over the traditional lithium ion as a result of its truly old solid cell architecture. And they also have partners with Ford and BMW, which expect to integrate the company's batteries into future electric vehicles as well. So if we look at the future growth, there's nearly a $220 billion total addressable market and Solid Power is well positioned for significant growth for years to come. Through, uh, and we'll be looking at why this will occur in like the later slides. Uh, so we can see that Ford Motor and BMW have made it clear that they're very overall very bullish on Solid Power's ability to deliver. Uh, the two manufacturers has led the batteries developers $130 million of Series B in May and signed a joint development agreement for the automotive scale batteries from Solid Power's production line to be delivered in early 2022 and I expect rollout in cars throughout 2024, 2025 and later in the decade as well. The SPAC trans, uh, transi uh, transaction will be expected to complete it on the fourth quarter of 2021, and it's expected to trade under the NYSE, uh, the New York Stock Exchange, under the ticker symbol SLDP. Uh, Solid Power is just one of the latest battery companies to go public via SPAC in recent months. One of its main rivals, uh, Volkswagen-backed QuantumScape, uh, went uh, public via SPAC merger last September at a valuation of $3.3 billion, uh, while uh, they will be going at a valuation of $1.2 billion on uh, when the merger gets completed. And earlier this year, European manufacturer Freyer and power system developer Microvas also round, uh, announced mergers that put them on the publicly traded markets. So Solid Power is Colorado-based. It was founded in 2012, and the company's uh, working on developing something called Solid State Batteries, which emit the liquid electrolyte that is used in lithium ion and the and the lithium ion batteries are the ones that power the most vehicles today. Uh, one of its competitors, as previously mentioned, QuantumScape, uh, also went public last year with a 3.3 billion uh, valuation. And the reason that they're moving to a solid state battery is because they have the potential to offer greater energy density than lithium ion with less weight. Uh, but also they had a struggle to create a design that can be mass produced at a reasonable cost. And recently they have come across a new design, which is why many uh, of the solid state companies are going public very, very fast. So first and foremost, what puts solid power apart? 
So for solid power appears to be closer to its uh, mass production than its rivals. Most of its solid state battery efforts are at least a few years away from production. QuantumScape, for example, is hoping to begin pilot production of its batteries in about three years. So that puts it close to 2024. Uh, when uh, Solid Power will already be delivering their solid state batteries to Ford and uh, Ford and uh, BMW uh, by late 2022. So Solid Power is already producing its second generation 20 ampere hour battery cells on a pilot production line and expects to become pilot production for its school uh, for its full scale 100 ampere hour batteries next year as well. So we can see it's much ahead of the competition and this can give it a first mover advantage that may put this in a buy. Second again, unlike most competitors, solid uh, power solid state batteries can be ma manufactured with the equipment and processes adapted from lithium ion battery manufacturing, meaning that the existing battery uh, plants can be converted to build solid power cells at a relatively low cost. This is what I mentioned earlier, they use a very similar production line, which saves a lot of money as they can use the current production line instead of investing a lot of money into creating a new factory with a new production line, we can make it much more expensive. And once again, another plus is that both Ford and BMW are solid backers of solid power. They have both invested in this and put a total of 130 million. Uh, so it could be very profitable with two major companies making millions of sales both each year start using solid powers, uh, solid state batteries as well. So we'll be looking at the terms for the solid power SPAC deal. So Decarbonization Plus, which is the special purpose acquisition company, is contributing all the cash that it holds in trust, which is about $350 million. The pipe will bring in about $165 million from investors, including Riverstone Energy, Koch Industries, which is a venture capitalist fund, and from and other global funds as well. On top of this, there'll be $135 million from Solid Power that was raised in its Series B round last month. And post-merger, the company is expected to have about $650 million total in cash. And it'll be trading under the NASDAQ stock market under the ticker symbol SLDP and the New York Stock Exchange as well. So what are some risks to buy uh, the SPAC or Solid Power right now? So... The first point is that the deal won't close or that it'll close later than scheduled. Uh, although it has been confirmed as of right now, we don't know what will happen over the next few months, the next uh, or even longer term. So it could be negative, which could push down DCRC stock price lower, which could cause you to become a loss even before the stock becomes a merger. On top of this, it is possible that the company's technology won't pan out or it goes into production later than expected. As we know, the 100 ampere will be ex batteries will be expected to start manufacturing next year or the year after that, but it could be later. But they have been working on their batteries since 2012. Uh, but QuantumScape has had a head start and been working since 2010 as well. There are, as previously mentioned, there has come a new design for the solid state batteries, which could make a lot of competitors come into the industry very, very quickly, which could use solid uh, power's market share as well. And on top of this, SPACs as a whole are extremely, extremely risky. We can see examples of Nikola and Lordstown Motors who have done SPACs in the past, but it turns out to be a lot of their uh, forward-looking statements were exaggerated in order to gain money and stuff like that. So the last thing we'll be looking at today is just some of its... Uh, some of it's just future growth stuff like that. So solid state batteries could speed up the wide adoption of electric vehicles. The batteries offer a safer and cheaper alternative to lithium ion batteries. Solid state batteries are still in development by several companies that it includes QuantumScape, which has a market cap of more than 12 billion after a completed SPAC deal recently. A Ford and BMW expanded the existing joint development with uh, Solid Power as part of the May investment that was 135 Series B investment. And this uh, secures the solid state batteries from Solid uh, Power for future uh, vehicles for the company as well. Ford and BMW will receive these batteries from the company in 2022 as they are expected to cost less and be safer than the existing lithium ion batteries as well. So today we had an overview of solid uh, uh, solid powers lithium batteries. Uh, we looked at the future growth, the risks, the benefits, and I do believe I am quite bullish long term for this company. It does seem like a really good idea, and it has two very very powerful backing companies, and a lot of smaller investors as well that have invested quite a bit into this company. 
So as a whole, I believe it is quite an interesting investment, but it is incredibly risky. As we mentioned, it is a SPAC, which brings about a lot of risk as well. So if you do choose to invest, make sure to do your own due diligence and thanks for watching. Bye.